Hello, Hello everybody. everybody! Welcome back to AJ's Game Corner. As y'all know, I'm AJ. And I'm Ian Blake Salazar. And this is our Thanksgiving video, which we're mm -hmm. filming slightly before Thanksgiving, but we're releasing it on Thanksgiving, so it counts, right? Yep, and that is why... We'll get to this nonsense we'll in, get a to this in a bit. We'll get to this in a So, in this video, we want to... Obviously, we've got a lot of people that we want to thank. Um, we've we got, got a some, lot of updates uh, to give. Some updates to give. And then, of course, we have our... Um, Inside Out Thanksgiving Turkey, which we'll explain the reasoning for later. But if you're just here for the Inside Out Turkey, then somewhere in this vicinity uh, is a timestamp that you can jump to. Oh, you're putting it on my face? Well then. I, uh, there's a gap between us. You can go in the gap. But you know, you could also, Anthony, you can put it on Ian's face. I won't mind. Well then, <laughs> if we're doing that, then for the people coming from the modding Discord, checking Dev Diary, you can see it in this timestamp over her face. There's a middle space. It doesn't have to be. You know what? Anyways, this is Thanksgiving, and we're very thankful and not non-thankful to each other. So let's just. We have a lot of um of people that I want to thank, uh, in relation to our channel. We've been doing this for, how many? I was what second year was when I started. So that would be two thousand. What was it? Two thousand fifteen. Two thousand October two thousand fifteen, I believe. Okay. Fairly certain. Not entirely certain, but I think so. But anyway, it's been a long time that we've been on this channel. And um and there's a lot of people who have really helped along the way. A lot of people we wanted to thank, um, specifically in relation to the game corner, who like really helped me as I was building my channel or just encouraging it to keep going. First and foremost, I think we have to give a shout out to our wonderful mod. Yeah. <laughs> uh Plush Minister, thank you. One, for watching us for all this time. Two, for putting up with us for all this time. And um, also, like, for jumping in when you can to uh, to moderate uh, certain individuals in the chat that like to troll. But we appreciated you being there, and we appreciated you showing off your channel as well. Like, that was, it was really encouraging to to see what you were doing, and it really made me want to, to work harder to... Uh, to push forward on our channel as well. Um, um, to Superdog Logan, Daft Trump, and Leonidas. Thank you, and we're sorry. <laughs> thank you, and we're sorry. You want to talk about the, the game we want? Well, I mean, I guess it is named after me. It is named after so, you. So, um, these three, for people who don't know, several, a couple years ago. Uh, more years more ago than, than we should admit. More than years ago than we should admit. Um, made a RPG maker game, I think it was, or an RPG-styled game called Ian's Quest. That yes. had to do with me and uh, uh, something Teddy about, Roosevelt. And something about Tim like me getting kidnapped by, by uh, William Taft. <laughs> so and we haven't had a chance to play it yet. Because we don't have a Mac or Linux. And those are the two systems that they were made for. Um, and one, we're really honored, first of all, honored. that the game was made. And I am incredibly sorry that we have not had a chance to play it yet. That is something that I'm... I am bound and determined we are going to find a way to make that happen within the next year. Because it has to happen. It has to happen. It has to happen, but I'm not sure within the next year. You don't, somebody don't, don't somewhere put, don't put the time Somebody somewhere has to have stamp. a way of making a virtual box. Okay. We'll we'll make it happen because we've waited too long and, and I really want to see it and I really just I we appreciate that you made it and I'm sorry that it has taken us so long to actually get around to playing it. Hmm. So thank you and we're sorry. <laughs> also, Vainbrain, uh, because fairly early on when we started doing the SCP streams, we were fortunate enough to have Vainbrain come in and give us a lot uh, of... Uh, insight, and Vainbrain, for those who don't know, actually is one of the developers of Nine-Tailed Fox mod, and he has helped with the actual containment breach when I will, I forget how you pronounce the name. I think it's Regulus. Um, kind of backed away to start doing his own game that's not based on SCP. And that I just remember the moment that we realized that we had an actual game dev watching our videos for the first time. It yeah. was like, uh, it just it it felt really awesome. And I think that was um, one of the first times for me at least that I realized that our channel was like more than just the viewing community but actually 
could be part of like the larger YouTube and gaming community. And that was just, um, just a really awesome feeling. So thank you so much for that. Uh, we're on the notes. Oh Every yeah, we're right here on the notes. Yes. Maya Luna. <laughs> Sorry that your introduction got cut off by Ian looking at the notes. But anywho, um, we want to say thank you for one for, for being around for as long as you have, but also for sharing your really awesome, like, animations and everything and also for playing with us um outside of the streams because yeah. that's been a really cool experience on among us to actually get to hang nice. out and i think was it mari luna that was with us on like neverwinter nights and stuff too that was a long time ago i don't remember that playing was a that very... game so it was a long you time ago but, game, but i don't remember playing but it was it was it's really awesome to actually like be able to pseudo hang out <laughs> virtually yes. um and, and just, we really appreciate it because it, it makes it feel to us like we're not operating in a bubble. Yeah. Uh, Dallas Willis. Uh, you, you know, we had to mention Dallas Willis. So many Pokemon. So many Pokemon. So many shiny, legendary Pokemon. So shiny, legendary level 100 Pokemon. Pokemon. With Master Balls um, sometimes. With Master Balls and finish. other items and everything, with which I, without which I would not have been able to beat the game. Also, which was just... I mean, you, you would have. It just would have taken a lot longer. Yeah, it would have been less cool, too. Let, let's be honest yeah. here. Um, and also, uh, you, we, we know that our, our match is coming up, and I am... I will do my best, but I am prepared for the slaughter. <laughs> I think we all know how that match is gonna go, but I will I will put forth my best effort. Um, as yeah. Thank not, you. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say and, and not cheat by using any of the Pokemon that I was given. <laughs> right. All right. Thank you, Cinemascape Studios, um, and specifically, Anthony. For... Okay, why are you saying specifically Anthony as though there's more than one person at Cinemascape Excuse Studios? Me. Apparently I'm a producer and now somehow financial advisor. Well, you're not thanking yourself. Well. I hope. Because I that mean... would be really self-absorbed. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Oh, for... but thank you, Anthony, for um, so well, many things. You for so us... many things. <laughs> um, for coming into the streams, for helping us here and there, for being on some of the videos as a guest star. Um, for having me in his films, you can check them out. For and letting me... Anthony, put, put... Just just, just scroll a list of all the things, the things we should be thanking you for. Please don't curse on the list that you add to the screen, Anthony. I'm, I'm begging you. Um, um, and most importantly, as she just basically mentioned, and as I mentioned earlier, he's helping edit the video. Right, because we're, in like, videos. incompetent. Uh, <laughs> also, Cameron Gran, whose channel is Here. linked somewhere... Wait, actually, no, it'll be in One the description. One channel okay. or two channels or in the description. In the, in the description is probably the safest place to put it. Yeah. Um, uh, just thank you for, for so many collaborations. Thank you for being in Minnesota with us, especially during all of this crazy COVID time. You make us feel less isolated and, like, so incredibly appreciate that. Appreciate game night. Appreciate just talking to you and spending time with you. And to both Cameron and Anthony, who have been our friends since New York Conservatory for Dramatic Arts days. Uh, thank you for putting up with us Yeah. for the last several years. I mean, it's more of a gift to put up with me. You're right. It does take an extensive gift to be able to put up with Ian, and I just so appreciate that you have that. You walked into that one. Uh, Excuse also, me, I've been sitting this whole time. Also, since we're talking about people who were uh, able to put up with us, there was one person in particular uh, who had to live with us for two years <laughs> mm -hmm. while we were working on the channel, while we were losing our minds, while we were running around trying to build our own careers and, and even was able to be on the channel sometimes with us, helped me film one episode of a side channel. Uh, Rebecca, if you see thank this... Thank you for being thank a you, friend. Thank you for being our roommate. <laughs> I know that was hard to handle, probably a lot of times, uh, but thank you, and we appreciate you, and we love you, and we miss you. Thank you to everyone else who's been viewing our channel. I know there's a lot of there's you. There's a very long list. Um, it would be a really long there's list to actually 345 of you now, which is incredible to think about. Yeah. Um, but every single one of you, we, we love talking to you in the chat. We love 
catching up with you and yep. seeing faces that are well, faces, like, seeing seeing screen names that are coming back. Yeah, from and, like Q, uh, QJW or QJ, like QJR. Q, QJR and, and QW. QW who are there two, are two different. of you. Which are two different, and Multiverse I know they're different. Eight. <laughs> Multiverse eight to like Nick the Nick, who's like posted memes in the Jack Discord the before. YouTube. There's like so many. There's people. so many. It's impossible to list all of them here. So thank you all. for Now coming I'm in. trying in my brain, and now I'm feeling bad, like for not having the, the full scroll list. I feel like we should have a full scroll mm -hmm. list. Yeah. Here too. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know how to get the full scroll list. Anthony, if you can find a way to get the there's full not, scroll list, there's no way. Oh, okay. Don't 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 waste those. We love all of you. <laughs> thank you for putting and, in as much work as you are going to. <laughs> and we just we we appreciate like every single time somebody shows up in the chat room. Whether we have like we've had streams that have had twenty people, we've had streams that have had one person, and just every single time that that one of you decides that how you want to spend like even five to ten minutes of of your day is with us it just makes us feel incredibly honored and, and incredibly special and we appreciate you so much for those of you who have been with us for this wanna... past year who may since march um so would have known that we got a dog yeah we got a dog He's um from... his name is sif um, so we got him from New Leash, and we wanted to thank New Leash for giving us this amazing puppy. He's such a lovely dog. Doesn't seem to act up. Um, much. much. He puts up with us. He puts up with us a lot. There he is. Yeah, he's just a um, boy. So we've had him since March. So viewers who haven't been here for, since, like, March will be like, oh, they have a dog. Um, we he, got him literally, like, one week before the first lockdown went into place. Yep, so it's been a blessing to have him this entire time. Um, thank you to Skadron Animal Hospital for being so good as his general practice vet. Um, also, thank you to the University of Minnesota um, Small Animal Hospital for taking such good care of him recently with everything that's been going on. Speaking of everything that's been going on... So, just to give, like, a quick overview of how this came about a couple of weeks ago now oh hello he, we, we thought there was something wrong with him he just wasn't acting right and he also seemed to be in a bit of pain um they initially thought it was uh, a back problem and then he started showing more signs that they thought were neurological so they thought it was meningitis and then mm. we took him for the mri which found out that he has an inoperable brain tumor um, so we're doing radiation. With mm -hmm. that in mind, when we first took him in, he wasn't looking too good. He couldn't really walk. He was screaming he in pain. Yeah, he couldn't sit um, up. He couldn't sit up. Um, but even with just the medication before the radiation, he started to gain mobility. Um, the vets all are very surprised with his recovery so far. So they do say on average with radiation, dogs with this specific type of tumor have an average of nine months. We're hoping because how surprised they were with seeing him that he's on the other side of that. Um, yeah. But yeah, he's you're still not eating, you're still not eating that. He's yes, still I, I very you. active now, and he's almost completely back to his normal old self. <laughs> rambunctious self. So, yep, that he used to be at the beginning of October. You're a good boy. So, so thank you, thank you. to to both Scadron and the University of Minnesota Animal Hospital for. Helping us take care of Sif. Yeah, uh, during these times. Yeah, and also thank you, I guess, thank you to Nationwide for being so... Oh yeah, like, thank you to Nationwide. We, we were cause... talking to the customer service and explaining like the financial situation, and they were really good about getting us set up with um, getting insurance reimbursements as quickly as possible so that we yeah. could continue to afford... Yeah. Um, Sif is like, why do you have me at the table when you won't let me eat it? I want down now. <laughs> good um, and like moving away from Sif... Uh, I've been part of the modding community, and I've been letting that modding community slide a tiny bit because Sif. of Sif, as well as other issues. So as well as... The, uh, the other big issue is AJ's laptop started going bust. And by and started going bust, we mean that we think it's possessed because it, I have now fixed. Every I've now moments. fixed six, diff six different errors that were causing the crashes, and every single time I fix it, I stop getting that error in the error logs. But a new one starts happening that wasn't happening before. Right. So it's possessed. Her laptop keeps crashing, so she has to use my computer for schoolwork. So I haven't been able to do this modding. So thank you for the modding community for still sticking up with it. For those of you who don't know, I'm currently modding. 
FTL. FTL is faster than light. It's a small indie game, less than 10 bucks, I believe, on Steam if you guys want it. Um, here's like a picture of the FTL stuff here. Now, now you're gonna have to send the picture to Anthony. Yeah, I, Anthony's I, I, sitting I, here like. You guys didn't tell me there were gonna be so many inserts in the middle of your screen. Um, well, prepare, <laughs> Anthony, because there is more. Yeah, and while he's talking about that, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat some jelly beans. So, for those of you who don't know as well, um, I'm currently mean? working on three different mod projects for FTL. I thought this was a twisty tie. This is not a twisty tie. All three of them are an add-on to Multiverse. Can you stop doing that? You're making a lot of noise. Can you open it for me? Oh god, no, give it back. For those of you who don't know, I've been working on three separate modding projects for FTL. All of them are add-ons to Multiverse. Um, these include Eldritch Horrors, which we're currently in the process of Chapter 3. Um, right now it's a bit up, um, not updated with the newest versions of Multiverse. It won't be until the second mod is actually complete complete, because that one actually kind of has a time window before it becomes kind of like, why'd you release it now on the forums? Um, this one does have a link on the forums. If you play an older version of Multiverse, you can play it. Um, here is the second one, Elven Honors, a special holiday theme. Currently, it's only in Discord, so if you aren't part of the Eldritch Wars Discord, join below. It's fantastic, it's wonderful, great time, no thank you. Um, it's but peppermint flavored. It's really weird. That's going to be the next one that'll be updated. Um, currently, it's at obsolete, like I said. Um, but yeah, and then I have a third secret project um, coming. And for those of you in the know, you're in the know. And for those of you who aren't in the know, you will know soon enough. And then you will wish you didn't. So you might be wondering, with all these issues going on, how are you going to be able to update it? Well. I have a new laptop coming in, and all three things that kind of prevented me from working really hard on these mods are kind of disappearing. So, well, not really, but no. the dog is doing much better to the point where I'm okay with working on things and not paying 110% attention on him every waking second of every day. Right. Secondly, unfortunately due to insert thing here, I don't know. I don't want to get, like, flagged for saying the actual word. Um, my work is actually down until the middle of December. Oh, due to the, um, the modern bubonic. <laughs> modern bubonic. That's um, what we'll call it. So, I have more free time to work on things, in general. And then, also, we have a laptop coming in, so that's going to fix the computer problem. Mm -hmm. Now, one last little thing. Very important to me that you guys all get thanked as well. Um, I'm so just a huge shout out to Winderp. I E H. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on how to say the full name. It's like I H I E. Hate snow, maybe. Oh my gosh, you have Discord in front of you. Just look it up. Well, I don't know. Um, but okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I can't. I can't because this guy's uh, okay. So I'm trying to do all three of them, but I know for sure, uh, Swift, you guys working on uh, hyperspace, which allows so much more modding than ever before, is amazing. And thank you all for actually like cracking down on that. Without it, I wouldn't have rejoined this modding community um, because I played this game right when I was graduating high school of all things. And there was nothing. There was like Captain's Edition released for it. But So when you were graduating high school, what was I doing when you were graduating high school? Anyways though. So hold on. Where where is it? I just went by. Huh. I don't see it as a name. Super on the complicated list name that Ian can't pronounce. Anyways, <laughs> so Thank you all for hyperspace. It's very amazing. It is a linchpin on everything else that hangs upon it. Multiverse wouldn't exist without it. I mean, multiverse would, just in a very different state. Um, thank you, speaking of multiverse, for the multiverse team. Everyone in it, it but more specifically and especially um, Lathe 
for some assistance in helping me figure out how to make ship designs, for allowing me to use his ship designs. Wuna, once again, for their amazing ship designs, for coming up with essentially the, what I used as tutorials for custom species. And for Kix, who's been a huge mod mentor to me this entire time. He was like, every question I had, he was the one that I went to. He tried out the very first version of the very first chapter of Eldritch Horrors, which I'll probably release as an April Fool's thing. All bugs and all, crashes and all, just for people to see how different it is. Um, oh, also, almost forgot... Um, for other multiverse developers, I almost forgot, uh, more and lesser, more or lesser, because they joined on a bit later for s several of your sprites, including the Arachne human spider hybrid sprite, uh, several others for the secret project coming up, and getting me in contact with um, a particular individual for the secret project. Um, and Felipe Mello 29 which I forgot to mention with the rest of the Multiverse team originally, because they started with me. Multiverse, you stole him from my team. Oh my gosh. Oh I'm, my I'm gosh. Um, but thank you for all the work you've done, including the Panthers, the Cosmic Panthers, which will be added in the next Eldritch Horrors update, whenever that is, after Elven Honors is completed. AJ, stop writing SOS with the jelly beans. <laughs> Get that out of here. Um, <laughs> you ruined my beautiful SOS. I ruined your pattern. jelly beans. Um, I worked so hard thank on you. it. It took me 15 seconds. I'm going seconds. to now go through the rest of these. Um, yeah. For for Elven Honors, really quick, thank you to Mayo to the Bone, Jen Cool, and Styles RJ for allowing me to use your Christmas mods, update them for multiverse standards, if you will. Um, thank you very much. Um... I cannot state that I dislike when mods just disappear into obscurity because they aren't updated, and it's really cool that you guys allow someone else to build upon it, because, like, if you look at Minecraft, there's so many mods stuck in 1.7. RimWorld. RimWorld, so many things stuck in beta versions that never got updated. Some or, of my favorite mods for RimWorld got stuck in, like, beta version 13. Yeah. They're on, like, 19 now. Um... So thank you, and then let's see here. Thank you, Jarl the Dane, for a bunch of, of bent ideas. Thank you, Dr. Maybe, for the penguins, for the elven honors, for several other, like, hybrids, for the slantis, for example, for eldritch horrors. Um, thank you, Scottish Pingu, for the recolors for the Cult of Mar ships. Thank you to... Um, Admiral Billy for your basalt um stats for that one crew as well as creating um super luminal 2 multi hyperspace edition um thank you all and thank every one of you who have subscribed oh and just as a little sneak peek here last one thank you campbell for all the work you are doing for the secret project and i'm going to leave it at that uh, you will see more in the coming weeks and there will be a dev diary going forward Every, what is it, fourth week? Approximately once a month. Approximately once a month. Um, just let me know what you guys would like to see out of a dev diary. Would you like me to try to get interviews with other mod developers? Would you like... On to the turkey! Oh dear god. First, or should we explain it first? Let's explain it first. Okay. What, what you see here is an inverse turkey. What you see here is Ian being stubborn. Because... I said we wanted a Thanksgiving video, and he's like, great, that's cool. And I'm like, okay, we'll have to film it ahead of time. And then Ian was like, hold up a minute. If it's not but Thanksgiving, not we can't eat Thanksgiving turkey when it's not actually Thanksgiving. And I was like, but it'll be shown on Thanksgiving. And he'll like, yeah, but it won't be Thanksgiving when we film it. So Ian would not let us have an actual Thanksgiving turkey in this video because we're filming it before Thanksgiving. So instead we're doing uh, an inverted Thanksgiving turkey. It's where the breading's on the outside and the stuffing is the meat. I got it. For Insta. Technically the meat on the inside isn't turkey. It's boneless chicken, but that's beside the point. So 
we have, through the careful application of toothpicks, of science, mad science, used Hawaiian rolls to reconstruct the appearance of a turkey as best as we could do with our complete lack of art. The bread space. without the pudding. The turkey and without gonna, the actual turkey. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna actually, we're gonna carve it on camera. We're gonna eat it. I was gonna have a fish stick turkey. We're just gonna get the fish sticks. Okay. I will take a wing. I'll, uh, I'll take more of the stuffing. Good. Once again, the stuffing is my favorite part. about this is just everything. notes for anthony this is not don't don't put that narration in the actual video please but actually do please but actually don't